What's up guys, Matt here with Galaxy Games 843. Today's video is another bonus video. We're going to be installing this Niax VPOS Touch credit card reader in our Winter and Futura 3589 combo vending machine. It's going to go right down here in this little um, credit card reader space that's designated just for these. Um, and then we're going to get it ready to go. So uh, we did a video like this in the past, but there were some comments where people had some more questions. So I want to do a little bit more deep dive into it in this video show you exactly how we uh, get the area ready in order for it to be installed. And then after we're done and it's all working, we're gonna do a separate video where we actually get all of our MDB codes and program our product map in the NIAX back office. Now I wanna remind you, if you're interested in getting some NIAX credit card readers for your machines, you can go to shop.niax.com, use the checkout code GALAXYGAMES843 when you're checking out to save yourself some cash. All right, let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and get started. We're going to open the machine up. We're going to power it off, open it up, and get to work. Enjoy the show. All right, real quick before we start installing everything, I want to show you what all comes in the box. So basically, what you're going to get, of course, is your actual Niax VPOS Touch credit card reader. It's got a mounting plate already installed on it. And if I recall correctly in our last video, this one was kind of thick for this machine. So we might have to shave that down a little bit. Um, also, it comes with a drill guide, which we're not gonna need for this machine because it's got that pre-installed credit card reader space. It's got a sticker if you wanna give out rewards. It's got your instruction manual, a cleaning cloth. Here's your MDB cable, and then here's your antenna cable. So these are the things we're gonna be working with in today's video. Well, pretty much, these things, these three things, the reader, the MDB cable, and the antenna cable. So those are the three things we're gonna work with in this video. All right, let's get to installing. All right, so what we need to do first is we need to remove the coin mech in order to get to the area where we're going to install the credit card reader. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll run the wires out the side from behind the coin mech here so they're not in the way, then we'll reinstall the coin mech. So the question in the last video was, is how do you remove the coin mech and how do you install this and then put the coin mech back on? That was the big question. So what we're gonna do first is we are going to, let's see, we're gonna remove this uh, coin chute right here first. And I'm, I'm trying to get this on camera as best I can. Let me slide it in just a little bit closer. So this coin chute right here is what we're gonna remove first. And to do that, we're just gonna take out these two screws right here. I don't know if you can see that very well. We're gonna remove those two screws in order to remove the coin chute. Then once we have the coin chute removed, we should have access to the nuts and bolts that we need to remove for uh, removing the actual coin mech. So I'm just gonna use just a regular Phillips head long bit here and just remove these two screws here. Of course, you don't wanna lose these screws, so make sure you uh, keep a good hold of them. So there's one, let's go ahead and remove the other one. And those are two screws removed. Does this pop off here now? No, I guess we gotta remove these smaller ones too. All right, let's remove the smaller ones. Okay, we don't wanna lose these screws. So we wanna make sure we're getting a good grip of them. This one I should just be able to pull out like this. All right, so there our coin chute is removed. So there's our coin chute. So remember which orientation it goes. This uh, big open end will go against the machine and this kind of curved fluted end is gonna point down. So we'll re remember that for when we're reinstalling it. Okay, so now we have access to a couple bolts back here that we need to remove. So there's two bolts. Let me grab some more tools and we'll remove those bolts next. All right, so the next two bolts we're gonna move remove are these two bolts right here and here. They are 11 30 second bolts. So you'll need an 11 30 second socket. I've got mine set up on like an extension so I can get in there pretty easily. Um, again, I know it's gonna be tough to see here on camera, but I'm just gonna remove those two bolts next. And again, you do not wanna lose these bolts. So try and get your hands in there to, to catch them or keep them in your actual socket. So good, mine fell straight down and sitting on the actual coin mech. Let me go ahead and grab it so I don't lose it. Here we go, there's our, our, our nut. And we're gonna do the same for the other side here. Okay, and that time it stayed inside the socket. Right, 
set that aside. And now I can't remember if, there, if there's any more, if this push just pops out now. Let's remove the coin tubes first, so that way we're not spilling coins all over the place. You know how much I like to spill coins in my videos, right? Okay, I feel like it's still connected somewhere. Let's see, where else is it connected? This is the part I, I do struggle with, so let me, uh, let me figure out how this comes off. I'll be right back. All right, so I removed two screws down here at the very bottom. There's two screws, two Phillips head screws. These are what they look like. Right here from the very bottom. And now this whole piece should come out. It's gonna take a little bit of force, a little bit of working here to get it out, but it, it'll come out. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect it up here at the top too. Here, let me show you up here at the top. I'm just gonna disconnect it from this connection right here. So now it's out of our way. So we'll just set it off to the side. And now we have full access to the spot for the dollar bill acceptor. So I'm noticing it's mine. Let me show you this here. So here's our spot for the dollar bill acceptor. Now I'm noticing that the frame on mine is bent a little bit. So I'm actually gonna try and bend that back, I think. I think I'm gonna try and bend that back. Well, let's test fit the, uh, the machine first. So let me go grab it. Basically, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna mount it in here, just like so. And so as you can see, just like the last time, this, uh, these, these, these bolts, are too short for this frame. This frame is super thick and it's not like a thin sheet metal one. So we're gonna have to actually grind down, I think, we'll have to grind down this frame so we can get um, good bolts on there, or nuts. And, and that's one thing that um, apparently I don't have because they didn't come with the machine. So I did buy this machine secondhand. So I guess I'm gonna have to find some nuts to go on there too. So let me let me do some work. Let me let me find some nuts, and then uh, I'll show you how I grind this down. I'll actually take it off of the dollar or the uh, credit card reader, so I don't damage it. So let's do that next, and we'll figure out our next steps. All right, this next step isn't for the faint of heart. It's not the easiest thing. So I'm actually using uh, eye protection, ear protection, and I've got a glove on one hand. That way. This tool doesn't uh, doesn't hurt me. So what the, what this is? This is just your basic grinding wheel grinder. I'm just going to kind of slim down the four spots where our bolts are going to go. So we, it's these two bottom ones and these two top ones. So I need it to be thinner in those spots. So I'm going to use this tool to slim it down. Now this is pretty noisy, so I'll uh, I'll probably just uh, put some music over this or something. So let's go ahead and grind these down a little bit. All right, well, that was kind of a pain. So you can see how it's a lot thinner now. I'm just gonna kind of clear all these burrs off of here with some razor blades. We wanna clean this area up now. Because it does kind of make a mess. So I'm just clean all this area off. But 
The beauty of this part is no one is going to see this piece. So not to worry. Uh, I probably could go a little bit more right there. So yeah, we use the top ones. Or actually, no, we use these. I'm good. Okay. All right, let's see if this fits any better. Still clean this up. Again, no one's gonna see this piece. So this piece doesn't really matter. We just needed it to be thinner so that way we can put the bolts on it. Now I gotta go find some bolts. So I'm gonna go find some bolts and then we'll put it all back together. All right, I found some bolts for us to use. I put the um, mounting frame back on the VPOS touch reader. Next, we're actually gonna take this little plastic door off and we are gonna make our wire connections because it's a lot easier to make our wire connections out here before it's installed rather than when it's installed in the, in the machine. So we're gonna be using our MDB and our antenna connections. First, we're gonna take our MDB connection. I'm just gonna open that up real quick. And this is the piece that actually connects to the reader. So this connects right to this, uh, this white port in here. And there's only one way to put it in. It's got little keys. So you can only put it in one way. So let's go ahead and pop that into place. All right, so that's in. Next, we need to install our antenna. So here's our antenna right here. And this one, it's just in a plastic bag. And it's got some sort of uh, wire tie holding it in place. So we'll untangle that because this wire, we're, we're gonna want to route up to the top of the machine. So let's just untangle the wire real quick here. There we go, and this is our end and it just pushes into this connection here. And this is tough to see, I know. So it pushes into this connection right here. And like I said, it's tough to see, I know, um, but it just pops into place. And sometimes it takes a little force. There we go, so now we got that in place. So with that, all that in place, we can put this plastic door back on and that's supposed to hold the wires in place. So you can see it's got a little designated thing here for those actual wires. Let's go ahead and put those back in place. Pop that on. Try to pop it on anyway. And I just broke it, <laughs> so that's not gonna work. All right, well, we don't have to put the plastic piece back on. It's not required. It's just really for wire management and whatnot. So let's go ahead and set our NIAX credit card reader there in place. I'm gonna get the bolts started by hand, and then I'll probably use the ratchet set to tighten them up. I'm doing this left-handed because the camera is in my way. So I'm just gonna do it left-handed for now. And I am a right-handed person, so it can be a little bit challenging. All right, last one going on. And let me just move my drill around. I think I can do it just like this. Let's go ahead and tighten these things up. All right, so let's take a look at the front of the machine. take you around to the other side here. We'll take a look at the front of the machine. And there we go, there's our credit card reader all nice and installed. Looking good there. No, no error or light gaps or anything like that. So I think we're good. We might be able to tighten the bottom up just a little bit more. Let's go see if we can tighten the bottom, tighten the bottom up here. that's about as tight as the bottom's gonna get. All right, so from here, what we know is we need to route the wires off to the side. Just gonna pull those through, and then we're gonna put our coin mech back in place. So, wedging the coin mech in there is probably gonna be fun. Let me move this over here a little bit. And again, I just wanna keep these wires out of the way, so I'm just gonna kinda of move them out of the way for now. Just gonna try and fit this back in place here. Let 
we got the top to fit. I swear, taking the coin mech in and out is probably the most difficult part of this, honestly. So you can see I'm still trying to wedge it in here while well, at the same time keeping these wires out of the way. There we go. All right, back in place for the most part. Let's get our everything lined up the way it should be. Looks like my bottom bracket came out of, out of place here. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put the top bolts back on first, up here. And this one is always challenging. It's so hard to get to this one. So I'm actually going to put this one in the tool and let the tool do the work for me. Because it's real hard to get your hand on this one. So I don't know if you can see how challenging just this is. I got that one tightened up. Let's tighten this one up. All right, so that should be good. Now I just gotta tighten the bottom up. So I gotta put those two Phillips head screws back in. And this, like I said, is challenging. Let me get it lined up and then I'll, I'll, I'll finish that part. All right, so I had to get down on my hands and knees to line it all up. But now I got it all lined up. I got one in and I'm gonna put the other one back in here now. All right, so now our coin mech is all back in place. Let me move this stuff out of my way. Coin back back in place. We can put our coin box and our coin tube back in the machine. So here goes our coin box. And our coin tubes. Okay, now we can make our connections. So obviously we're gonna pretty all this up. We're gonna pretty our wires up. But here is the MDB connection for the coin mech. So this is what we want to connect to. So all we're going to do is connect right here, just like this, to the MDB connection of the coin mech. There we go. And the other half is going to connect to this other MDB connection that goes up to our board. Just like so, okay? Now, these are our DEX cables. We really don't need these. I've got a DEX connection up at the top, so I'll probably connect that in. But let's go ahead and at least we'll stick our antenna just right here like that for now. So our antenna's stuck to the inside of the door. Now let's go ahead and set up. We're gonna close the door. Actually, you know what? I'm forgetting one piece, one important piece right here. It's our coin chute. We can't forget about our coin chute. We gotta put that back in place. So let's go ahead and put the coin chute back in place next. I almost forgot about the coin chute. That would have been silly. All right, so remember, the piece that's bent goes down and we're just going to, how did this go in again? Let's see. This went like so, like that. How did those lower pieces connect? Now I don't remember. I don't remember how I did this part. Hmm. All right, let me figure this out real quick. Okay, here we go. So I got confused for a minute. Um, I took out these two top screws up here. I know, I know it's tough to see it. These two top screws. I didn't need to take those out. So I put them back in. Now, these smaller screws are gonna go through these little side pieces here. And those are gonna connect in to the lower holes. So let's go ahead and connect those up 
Again, don't lose your screw. Let me put it inside my drill bit here. There we go. All right. So all I'm doing is I'm setting it in place, and this camera is getting right in my way, of course. <laughs> Let me move the camera over. Hold on. You really can't see it at all like that. All right. That's about the best I'm going to be able to get it. All right. Now, I'm not tightening it all the way. So I want to get the other one started too, and then I'll tighten them down when I feel what, like it's right. That looks good. That looks good. All right. So now we should be good to go. So now everything should be back together. Let me just clean up my work area a little bit. And we'll plug the machine in and watch it power up. So let's do that next. All right, let's power the machine up. Dollar bill acceptor powered on. We got light on the NIAX credit card reader. It's gonna take a minute or so to boot up. We'll let it just do its thing here for a second. There's our notification tone that's booting up. And there's our NIAX logo. Again, it's booting up right now, so it's gonna take a minute or so at boot up. This is completely normal for it to take this long. There we go. Oh, it actually, actually uh, it booted all the way up. Now it's gonna reset itself. That's right, the very initial time you set it up. It's gonna boot up show our screen real quick and then reset itself again. So it's probably applying any firmware updates or anything else like that. There's our notification tone again. Gonna boot up for just another minute here. And again, guys, this is completely normal for this to happen like this. So we'll just give it another minute or so. There's the NIAX logo. And then this should be the final time. I don't think it restarts again after this. So once it's booted up, it should be good to go. As long as we've got a good signal from our antenna. There we go. There's our Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, all those different logos. We are good to go. This machine, uh, this credit card reader is up and ready to go. There we go. There's all of our track screens. Everything's good to go. So I think we're going to call this success. Again, we're going to do one more video where we do the MDB codes and set up the product maps. But that'll be in a future video. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this video up right here. Hey guys, I hope you found this video helpful when it comes to installing NIAX credit card readers. Now, obviously this is for a Wittern Futura 3589 combo machine. Other machines are gonna install a little bit differently, but the same basic of rules are going to apply no matter what machine you're installing it on. Mount it first, get your connection set up, connecting to MDB, your antenna, all that good stuff, and you're good to go. Again, we're gonna do another video after this one sometime where we actually get all of our MDB codes and set up our product map in the NIAX back office software at a computer. So we're gonna do that in a future video. If you wanna see more of these kind of videos or that video, make sure you subscribe to Galaxy Games 843. Also, one more reminder, if you wanna get a NIAX credit card reader for your vending machines, go to shop.niax.com, the description, the link is down in the description. Use our checkout code, Galaxy Games 843 at checkout, and you're gonna save yourself some cash when you buy that NIAX credit card reader. All right, with that said, guys, if you have any questions, put them in the comments, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to Galaxy Games 843. Make sure you give this video a like if you found it helpful. And thank you so much for supporting the channel. We're going to wrap it up right here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.